Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today I will be telling you how to create purchase order in SAP and it is very important topic for all SAP developers who wants to create the purchase order and let me begin by the steps. So in the first step you need to log in into the SAP system and you need to open up a screen like this and after that you need to type a transaction and this is the step 2 in the process and the t code is ME21N you need to type this transaction code in the transaction menu like here in this screen and once you type it it will open up the screen for creation of purchase order so this is the screen like this and before creating the purchase order let me tell you two basic parts of it like the header and item every creation of purchase order includes two sections one is the header and the other part is the item and the header includes like what kinds of POIDs like here in this drop down box you can find out what kinds of PO available like standard PO or anything else and then you need to uh, write the vendor number like where you are going to send the PO like which vendor you want to select so you need to type the vendor number here and then the document number and this includes your header section and if I talk about the item so in the item you need to write all the material that you want to order like the material number then the quantity of the material and uh, also the price currency and the plan and so on so those things you can write in the item so that's uh, the basic part of the creation so let me now go ahead and move ahead with this creation so you need to select the standard PO uh, NB for this example like in this step 4 I can show you in better way like here you can see that if I click on this uh, drop down button you can find the different types of POs that you can choose like standard PO NB, NB2 and like stock transport uh, order like that and then you can uh, type the vendor number and document date as I said in the earlier and once you do that once you complete the part of the header section then you need to click on the save button so once you click on save then it will show you the next part of it like you need to put the all the details of the purchasing like purchasing uh, organization per purchasing group and company code so purchasing organization means for what organization you are buying the material and the purchasing group so there can be relationship between purchasing group and purchasing organization so you need to write those numbers here and also the company code for what company code you are actually doing this order so after filling all this information then you need to go into the next part so in the next part comes the item data so here in this section as I said earlier that we have to fill out the information related to material like you can put the text and if you if your material is already saved into the system then automatically so the text will come uh, from your material must data then you can fill the PO quantity, then like price and currency and plan, so on. You can just save those information and also you can select the SIFT plus F3. By that also you can do the save. So using this, all this process, actually you can create the purchase order manually into the SAP system. And that's all about the process. And thank you for watching and if you have any question you can write in the below comment box I will be answering those and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe and if you have liked the tutorial please like the hit button and thank you for watching and also look into my other tutorials I have given the links in the below description thank you for watching